Okay, guys, listen up for a second, please. Uh, now, the following players have been called into the All-Star team. Uh, and Bruce and I, we couldn't be happier for you. Uh, so those players are Christian Vazquez. Well done. David Dull. Brilliant, mate. Deserve that. Brendan Rogers, And Ryder Jones. Well done. Well done. Shh. Okay, one second, guys. One second. Because the following players have not been called into the All-Star game. Nolan Arenado. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 6 here at the Colorado Rockies. And today we're going to be playing the Washington Nationals as well as review the All-Star game, which Nolan Arenado did not get selected for. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, now, since last episode, things have continued to go quite well for us. We don't have any new injuries. We're still just waiting on Junior Fernandez to come back from his injury. Um, and it's pretty much just been a case of, uh, of as you were. Now, let's quickly review how, we're, or how and where we've got to here. Uh, everybody's pitching stats for the season. You can see them there. Um, I don't think we've got batting stats. So, no, you can't see them there. Hang on. Let's get pitching stats up. Uh, I don't think we've made any changes that I can think of. So, that's all fine. Uh, and then the hitting side of things. Again, if you want to check the Discord link for that in the description, I post all these numbers. Uh, or just give the video a quick pause. Uh, again, hitting side of things, we haven't changed too much. Um, we can see how everybody's getting on there. Now, the schedule, we haven't played too many games. Uh, obviously, we left off against the Phillies here, didn't we, on, uh, in, uh, for the amateur free agent. Now, we did sign, uh, we did end up signing the Australian shortstop, so that's good news. We've got another good player in the system. Um, we went on to sweep the Phillies. Just let me check my notes here, if there's anything of note there. No, we swept, the, we swept the Phillies, so that was excellent. We then went and swept the White Sox, which was fantastic. And then, call it a win streak, we went and swept the Brewers as well. Now, of course, the Brewers were uh, quite a good team. They were top of the uh, NL Central, so that was fantastic to, uh, to sweep them. Then I'm not sure what happened here. We got uh, we only won one of three against the Giants, and they're a poor team, so I don't know what happened. Uh, and then we went to Detroit. We lost two in a row, um, and then we won the last one to salvage a little bit of pride. But uh, yeah, that's um, a little bit of a disappointing end. But obviously, uh, I think it ended up being a, 12, a ten or ten game win streak. I think it was in the end there. Um, kind of salvaged it. So I think it was uh, we'd won ten of sixteen since last episode. So then the All-Star game came around. Now let's go and have a quick look here and see the end of the voting. Um, and you can see that it was Vazquez third amongst catchers. For us, we had Rogers second amongst second baseman. Ryder Jones, top of the votes for the third baseman. Wonderful stuff from him in his debut season for us. Um, Trevor Story, formerly of our parish, of course, he was uh, second in shortstop voting. Left field, David Dull was third. Um... And we can see there all the other votes. We didn't have anybody in the pitching. And then that brings us to the All-Star uh, the All -Star rosters. That is the National, sorry, the American League side. I'll leave that there. Uh, actually, no, because I'll expand it out. Once. That's the National League side. And then if we go and have a quick look at the uh, at the National... Anyway, this is the... <laughs> we had four guys get called up. Uh, Christian Vazquez. Uh, it was a first call up for him. So that's excellent. He's a really good catch. Now, his contract is up the end of this year. He wants to stay... The problem we have is that we don't have enough money to... I mean, oh, hang on. Maybe we can do it now. Why can we do that now? Anyway, so we will definitely be looking to get him to stay. We'll have a negotiation with him off camera. Um, so well, anyway, well done to Christian Vazquez. A first all-star for him. Very, very much deserved. If we go down, uh, the other guys that got called in. Brendan Rogers for a second time. Uh, two seasons in a row now for him again. Absolutely thoroughly deserved. Well done, Brendan Rogers. Uh, of course, as I said, Ryder Jones got himself a call-up. Absolutely brilliant. A first call-up for him in his first real season. Actually, this is his first season. It's his rookie season. He could be rookie of the year, you know. He's having a wonderful time of things, so that would be great. And uh, the fourth and final guy to get called in for us was, of course, in left field, David Dull. Um, as, as the third call-up for him. And he has, again, just been a wonderful, wonderful player for us this season. So that was that. The game itself didn't go particularly well. Uh, where are we here? Home run challenge was won by Eloy Jimenez, if you're interested. Uh, here we go here. Box score. You can see it was a, a win for the American League. There was a grand slam from Gary Sanchez, which is uh, probably a nice thing to see at a uh, at an all-star game. But as for our boys, you can see Rogers came in. He pinched hit. He came in to play shortstop, which isn't really his position. Uh, he went 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Not a great day for him. David Dull went 2 for 3. He scored a run. Um, so he had a good day coming into play in center field. Again, not really his position, but we know he can do that. Um, 
Unfortunately for Vazquez, didn't get a look in, but Ryder Jones did start the game at third base, uh, went one for three, did get the RBI though, so he had a decent time of things in his first season. Uh, if you want to have a look at how all the pitches got on, we didn't of course have any pitches. Um, not a great day to be a Garrett, I would say. Um, six runs he gave up in his .1 innings of work, so... <laughs> That's <laughs> not ideal. Of course, that would have been a grand slam in there, wouldn't it? But uh, there we go. We can see how everybody got on in the All-Star game. That brings us now to the standings, uh, and we can see we are one and a half games back of the Dodgers. Five games, well, no, it's what, three and a half games clear of the Padres. Six games plus so it's nine and a half games safe in the All-Star, in the All-Star, All-Star on the brain, in the wild card spot. Um, you can see Rogers and Dahl are still <clears throat> right up there in the batting averages. Baez is still right up there in the RBIs. Uh, if we go all the way down, we can see that Robbie Ray is, of course, still leading the way on uh, strikeouts. And he's also uh, made a little appearance there, stuck his head up in the top three of pitching war. So that is uh, excellent news as well. So that's everything caught up on. Let's go and have a look at... Uh, at actually, no, one other thing I did want to show you is I did just want to show you the, the, uh, the, the uh, international free agent that we signed. So Blake Warby, he is uh, he is now a member of our team. Uh, now, of course, he is eligible if you are a Patreon supporter and you are eligible to have a player renamed after you. Blake Warby, he can get named after you. So let me know uh, however it is you want to contact me. Um, and uh, yeah, I will um, I would look to get that guy renamed. Anyway, let's check these lineups. And here we go as we get the second half of the season underway. Tapio will lead us off batting right field, playing batting right field, playing right field. Brendan Rodgers will bat second at second. David Dahl will bat third in left field. Bayers will clean up at shortstop. Ryder Jones, he will bat five at third base. Evan White, the first baseman, will bat six. Jackie Bradley will bat seven in center field. Vazquez will bat eight. He's the catcher. Very, very familiar lineup. Robbie Ray goes on the mound for us today. Let's see if he can keep these strikeouts coming. And of course, it is Garrett Richards on the mound for them. Um... He is an ERA of 519 so far this season. He's been down in AAA and not done particularly well there. A whip of 138. Uh, he does have a positive war, but only just an ERA plus of 88. Let's hope we can uh, mount on some misery here. All right, and here we go. Let's get this thing underway. Rob Lez to lead them off, batting 258 this season. And, well, hopefully, it looks like it's going to be a first pitch swing. So it's not going to be a strikeout for, uh, for Robbie Ray. But let's hope we can get something going here. Uh, I was so happy when Arenado didn't get called up <laughs> for the All-Star game and Ryder Jones did. Um, I mean, it just goes to show, doesn't it? I was really annoyed. I'm still annoyed that he left us. He would have been an All-Star if he'd stayed with us, I'm sure. Um, as we get the pop fly there and out for David Dull. It brings in Kai Boom, uh, who's batting 254. But it just goes to show, you know, you know I guess that's what they... Uh, it's like the money ball thing, isn't it? We've got in a decent guy. We're paying him a hell of a lot less than Arenado was on. And uh, as we get a, a one-out single there for Soto to come in, who's batting 311. It's a full count. And it's 2-0. That was crushed, wasn't it? Absolutely leathered it out over there into right field. 423 feet. And we're 2-0 down. Which, uh, needless to say, is not exactly what we wanted. But yeah, it just goes to show, you know, we, we, we you can replace anybody. It's a 2-2 count, and there's a strikeout for Robbie Ray. Hopefully, he's got himself going now. Uh, Eric Thames comes in. He's batting 230 this season. A 1-1 pitch on him with two out, no one on. That should do it. Uh, Rogers over to first. And, well, we've uh, suffered a blow there. We're 2-0 down at the, after top of the first. But let's see what we can do with the bat as Tapia comes in, batting 292. Now, his batting average has obviously well and truly fallen away. He was up over 400, I think, about a month into the season. And he stands there, watches strike three. And we're getting to the point where we might need to consider his place in the lineup. Rogers comes in now, batting 355, of course, leading the National League. And that's only going to get better now as he takes the 0-1 pitch into center field. And it's a one-out single. David Dull now batting two, sorry, 322. A 2-0 pitch for him now. Rogers stands at first. And David Dull has, oh, been robbed in center field. He's injured himself out there, but he shakes it off. And it brings up... Bayez, who is batting a 248 this season, a 1 2 pitch on Bayez, and he strikes out to end the first. And we are 1 0 down, which is uh, not ideal. Let's see what Ray can do now as he faces Ritz, who is batting 227 this season, a 1 0 pitch. That is popped up. Jackie Bradley should have that. And there we go, one away. If we were to drop Tapia, it does leave a little bit of a problem in. 
the, who do I mean? We would bring in uh, Sir Gilio to come in and, and play out there for him. That would be fine. It's then would we use him in the leadoff spot? Which I suppose we could. Uh, Diffo comes in. They've got another single there. This time this could be a double play. Jones over to Rogers. No, just the one. And that will be two away. As the pitching slot comes up the bat, he is over 15. So you'd be annoyed if he got a hit here. Baez has that over to second, and that'll do it for the top of the second. And there's not nothing much there for the uh, Nationals in that one. All right, Ryder Jones now batting 305 this season. All-star Ryder Jones. Full count. Ryder Jones. Oh, that's why he's an all-star. It's 2-1. It's just snuck over the fence in the end. But 381 feet, and I'm assuming that fence is 380 feet away because it just crept over, didn't it? But it's a home run. It's 2-1. A nice way to lead off the second from Ryder Jones. It's a 22nd home run for him this year, and Evan White comes in now batting 303. An 0-2 pitch for him. Evan White, he has grounded at the shortstop, and that is one away. In will come Jackie Bradley now batting 255 this season. A 1-0 pitch for him. Jackie Bradley has grounded that to second. That'll be two away. And it brings up one-time All-Star Christian Vazquez now batting 318. An 0-2 pitch for him. What can Vazquez do with it? He can ground it to third, and that'll do it for the innings. And we will be leading it off with Robbie Ray next time out. We've pulled one back there, and Robbie Ray will face Robles, who is 0-1. for A 1-1 pitch. Oh, he's hit him. And not an ideal start. Kai Boom comes in. He is one for one. Of course, he was the RBI. We've tried to get him at first, but uh, he's paying attention out there, which is frustrating. A full count. Come on, Robbie. Oh, he's walked him. Two on. No one out for Soto, who, of course, smashed one into the fans last time up. A one-two pitch. There's a strikeout. Tied him in a knot, and that is one away. And a double play now can get us out of this. Owner comes up. He's 0 for 1. An 0 1 pitch. Oh, dear. That is 5-1. to one. And I'm going to say it's not Robbie Ray's day today. He's not looked good, has he? He's not looked good. And he's given up five runs in two and a third. He will continue. Though remembering, of course, the pitching slot bats next. If he could get himself out of this inning so he could pinch hit. There's a strikeout. And that is uh, two away. It is an interesting situation. Of course, just coming back from the All-Star break, we've got a full count, two out. That ends the innings. Now, what does Bruce do? Does he pinch hit? Does he leave Ray in? He pinch hits. Sergilio comes in. Now, of course, he's batting 245. This is the guy that could come in to play right field for us. And I tell you what, if he's going to hit like that, that's dropped in for a double. Not bad for an 0-2 pitch. And you've got to say, maybe, maybe the time has come. We, we just... You know, get Tapia out of the lineup for a bit, let him regain his confidence. And 0 and 1 uh, for today, of course. 0, uh, 0 for 1 today, a 1 0 pitch. He's popped it up. Now, can Sugilio get himself over to 30? Can. So, a productive out at least there for Tapia. And let's see if Brendan Rogers can drive in a run. He's 1 for 1 today. It's a first pitch swing. Come on, Brendan. He has grounded at the third, and that will be two away. The runner will stay at third. And it comes up to David Dull now, who's 0 for 1, to try and drive in a run. He has done just that, though. He slapped it into left field. It's going to be a two-out single, but more importantly, a two-out RBI single. So we cut the lead back down to three. Bayez to the plate. He's 0 for 1. 0-2 pitch. Bayez strikes out again. And that'll end the third. Who will come in? And probably one of the long relievers. It's Zantazella, who has not been the best this season. ERA over 6. He's going to face Wong, who I think is 0 for 1 today. I missed his... Uh, it doesn't matter. He's 0 for 2 now. He struck out there. And it brings up Diffo, who is 0 for 1 as well. What can Zantazella do? He, of course, started... He's got a single there. He started the season in our starting rotation. But obviously, with an ERA over 6, it was a little bit disappointing. And uh, so we dropped him. Richards, who is 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. Looks to lay down a bunt. Can we get the man at second? We can. So two away. The sack bunt is, uh, well, it doesn't work. Robles now, who's 0 for 1, got hit last time up. This time he watches strike three. And we've got out of that without giving up too much. Let's go have a bat. Ryder Jones, who hit the home run last time he let off in innings. A 1-2 pitch. This time, what can he do? Ryder Jones swings through strike three, and that's one away. Evan White now, who's 0 for 1. He comes in the bat. Evan White has hit it well, but center field is there. Oh, it's dropped in. And Evan White has himself a one-out double. 
Wonderful stuff. We'll take that. In now will come Jackie Bradley. He is 0 for 1 today. Can Jackie Bradley take a first pitch? He can, but only to second base. Moves the runner over to third, but it's two away. It's up to Vazquez now, who's 0 for 1, to try and drive in a run. 3 and 1 is the count. Oh, he's mugged it straight back to the pitcher. And that'll do it for the fourth. It's still 5-2. Santa Zella to face Kai Boom, who is 1 for 1 with a walk as well. A 1-2 pitch. That is down at the third base line, past Ryder Jones and into left field, and it'll be a leadoff double. And their 2, 3, and 4 slot has, uh, well, they've hurt us today, haven't they? Soto comes in. He's 1 for 2. 2, 2 pitch. That's down towards first base, and we can't make the play. We've got no one out runners at the corners. The ump may have got that one wrong. But it doesn't matter now because Santazella is facing Ona who is, uh, well he hit a three run home run last time up. 0-1 pitch. This time it could be a double. One run is going to score but it cleans the bases. So that could have been worse. It's two away now. We're 6-2 down. Thames comes in to bat. He's 0-2. 2-2 for two. Two, two pitch. And that'll do it. Santazella ends the innings but we do give up one. Santazella will now have a bat. He is uh, 2 for 26 through the season. I'll tell you what, 3 0, get yourself on base there, mate. He does. Santazella draws a walk. That's a nice bonus. Tapia comes in. He's 0 for 2. A 2 0 pitch. Come on, Ramel. Oh, Ramel Tapia has spanked that to the fence in right field. I don't know if Santazella is quick enough to score. Is it triple territory? It is triple territory. Santazella is going to score. Tapia is at third. And it is 6 to 3. We've got the fourth run potentially there standing at third and Brendan Rodgers at the plate. He's one for two today. Three and one's the count. Come on, Rodgers. He's off on base. He does. He gets it into the left, uh, right field. Sorry. It's an RBI single for Rodgers. It is six to four. And it's David Dull to the plate now. He's one for two. What can he do? Another first pitch swing. David Dull. He had double play. Oh, Dull, you muppet. What is that? And suddenly there's two away for Baez. He's 0 for 2 today. Can he latch on to something? Another 0-2 pitch. He's going to strike out, isn't he? No, oh, Baez, no. He's popped it up, though. It's very, very high. If there was a little bit more of a breeze, it might have left this. But that'll end the innings. But we've cut the lead back to 2. We're just staying in this, aren't we? Ritz comes up to bat now. He's 0 for 2 today. A full count. And he draws a leadoff walk. Wong comes in now. He is one for two. A one-two pitch. Wong has lined it straight to Rogers. That's one away. Runner at first will stay there. Diffo to the plate, batting one for two today. Two-two pitch. Oh, it's gone away from the catcher. Runner's going to get to second. And we now have a full count. He does get the strikeout, though, for two away. That's important. Pitching slot up. CJ Cron will pinch hit, batting uh, 2 0 2 a 2-0 pitch. Can we end this innings, please? Antonio, that should do it. Baez over to first, mate. And there we go. No runs for them in the sixth. But, of course, looking at the pattern, they're going to get four runs in this next innings, possibly, aren't they? So, <laughs> we need to be careful there. Jose Quigel. We had him on the baseball journeyman, didn't we? I'm sure we did. He was our closer in Japan. I'm almost positive. Anyway... He's going to face Ryder Jones. He is one for two today. A 3-0 pitch. Can we get yourself on base here, Ryder? Yes, he can. A leadoff walk. Evan White to the plate now. He is one for two today. Can he get something going for us? A first pitch swing. A oh, double play again. Oh, Evan White. What are you doing to me? Two out. No one on for Jackie Bradley. It's a full count. Can Jackie get himself on base here? He cannot. Oh, well, that went south quickly, didn't it? And we go to the 7th. It's Scotty Oberg coming in now to face Robles, who's 0 for 2. He got hit in that as well, of course. Oberg with an ERA of just under 6. And that should be an out at first. Baez, there we go, makes the play. One away. Brings up Kai Boom. He is 2 for 2 and uh, with a walk as well. Has been an absolute tormentor of our pitching staff today. But that'll end there as Dull will have a simple catch in left field. And that's 2 away for Soto who is uh, two for three with two RBIs and a home run. 2-0 pitch. That is a ground ball into the shift. Rogers has it, and that'll end the seventh. We stretch. We're 6-4 down, but still in this game. It's Vazquez now to face Kojala. We'll go with Jose like we did in Japan, and he has ripped that into left field, the full count pitch, and that is a leadoff single. Now, surely, pitch is not going to bat. 
McMahon comes in the pinch hit, batting 243 this season. A 1 2 pitch on McMahon. He is hit. We'll take that. 2 1 with no one out, and Tapia will come to the plate. You've got another triple in your mate. Of course, he hit a triple last time up. A 2 2 pitch. No one out. 2 1, and he's got it up the middle. Tapia. Oh, any talk of dropping him may have uh, quickly been dropped because that is now loaded bases. Rogers comes in to face Sabotka, who is at ERA of 675. And we can, well, this could be a game changing at bat. He's two for three today. One one's the count. Don't hit into a double play, Brendan Rogers. He has done just that. Run, Brendan. Oh, he gets there. So just one out. All right, so we don't get the run, but the bases are still loaded for David Dull. He's one for three. An 0 1 pitch. Come on, David. Oh, he's. Oh, catches interference. Well, we'll take that. They've gifted us a run. It's six to five. Still loaded bases. Still one out. And Baez with a chance. He's 0 for 3 and struck out every at bat. And that's not going to change. Oh, we can't leave the bases loaded. Come on, Ryder Jones. He's 1 for 2. 1 0 pitch. Come on, Ryder. Ryder Jones has it. A base in clear is hit. It's over the top of center field. There's one. That ties the game. That gives us a lead. And we're going to extend the lead. It's a basing clearing double for Ryder Jones. It's 8-6. to six, And it's Evan White now with a chance to extend that further. A 1-2 pitch. Come on, Evan. Let's get Ryder across this plate. He's popped it up. And that'll end the 7th. But it's a wonderful 7th. We've scored 4. We're 8-6 up. And it's going to be Jacob Patterson coming in to pitch the start of the 8th. And he is... Uh, well, his ERA is 220 this year. He's going to face... Owner who is one for three, but that one, of course, was a three run home run. Three one is the count that is ripped into left field, and David Dull's there. Can he keep it to a single? He can, but that, of course, will now bring tying run to the plate. It's Evan Thames who is 0 for three. A 2 2 pitch. There's a strikeout for Pado. Excellent stuff for him. Ritz to the plate. He's 0 for two. And a 2 2 pitch again. That is popped up. David Dull should have that. That'll be two away. The runner will stay at first. And it's Wong up to bat. He is one for three today. A first pitch swing from Wong. He's popped that up. Tapia is there, as is Jackie Bradley. Tapia makes the play. That ends the eighth. We are three outs away from a come-from-behind victory against the Nationals. Jackie Bradley will lead us off. He's 0 for three today. A 1-2 pitch. Come on, Jackie. No, he strikes. I tell you what. Bradley and, uh, and Baez have not looked good at the plate today, have they? Vazquez comes in now. He's one for three. Pitching slot bats next. You would imagine, as Vazquez gets himself a single up the middle, you would imagine we're going to pinch hit here. It'll probably be Hampson. It is Hampson. And he is batting 328 this season. A 1 0 pitch. Hampson has popped that up. That's two away. And it's going to be Tapia to face German, the uh, the new pitcher on the mound. Tapia suddenly is two for four and having a wonderful time of things. A 1-1 one, one pitch, two out, one on. Tapia has got it through into left field. Now, runner will probably have to stay at second. He will. But two on, two out. Can Brendan Rogers extend this lead for us? He's two for four today. It's a 1-0 oh pitch. Come on, Brendy. Rogers up the middle. Rogers should do just that. Vasquez is not the quickest. And he will know he'll stay at third. Loaded bases. For David Dull, he's one for three. A one-two pitch. Come on, David. Oh, he strikes out, and we leave the bases loaded. Is that going to prove costly? It's going to be Doyle, the youngster coming out to close this out for us. He's done okay so far this year. Diffo is the first man at the plate. He's one for three. It's a first pitch swing. It's popped up. David Dull should have that. That'll be one away. Now, pitcher's slot is up next. You would imagine they're not going to bat their pitcher. They don't. Tina Turner comes in. Batting 225. Come on, Tommy Doyle. Two and two's the count. Oh, dear. That's going to bring tying run to the plate as Tina Turner gets it into left center field. He stops at second. You wonder if there was a triple there for him, but really, they need base runners, don't they? Robles comes in the bat. He is 0 for 3. A 2-2 two -two pitch. Come on, Tommy. That's straight down Jackie Bradley's throat. That's two away as the crowd roars. It's Kai Boom, who is two for three. A 2-0 pitch. That should do it. Baez over to first. Tommy Doyle gets the save, and we've beaten the Nationals. So Ryder Jones, with the bases clearing triple, gets the job done for us. He's an all-star 
He's oh, he's my one of my favorite players all of a sudden, and he's he's got he's going to be rookie of the year, isn't he? Surely, let me know what you think of that in the comments. But I don't see how he can't be. He's been absolutely magnificent. Quick look at the standings. Um, Dodgers have won as well, so we're still one and a half games back of them. But we've pulled a gap a little bit further on the Padres. And well, this season it's looking as though it is going to end in the postseason. Something could have to go horribly wrong. For that not to happen here. Will it be the wild card game? It would be an absolute crime if we got beaten in the wild card game. Having, I mean, we're, we're going to win 100 games this year the way we're going. Um, but hopefully we'll manage to track down the Dodgers and, uh, and win the division. But that's it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. Let's go to August. Um, we don't have a series against the Dodgers, but we do have a series against the Padres. So let's come back for game three of that series in San Diego. That could be very, very important for us. Uh, but until then, guys, I've been Aussieville, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.